Ramayan everyone, once again here from Cape Town in South Africa. Today we're going to start a two day tour. We're going to be doing a luxury glamping safari with a company called Hotspots to See that do tours around South Africa. And we're going to be visiting two nature reserves, so one on each day. And I think we're supposed to be able to see the majority of the big five the animals that people want to see the most and hopefully this time we get to see lions too we've never seen uh, lions in the wild so yeah fingers crossed for that and it's gonna be around four hundred and twenty dollars per person and that includes one of the breakfasts, the transport obviously the pickup and drop off at our apartment here and also the tours at the reserves that we're going to be visiting. And we're actually partnering with the company Hotspots to See and they've given us a discount code Jumping Places for this tour where you can get 5% off. So in the video description there'll be more information about that. And right now we're just waiting for them to pick us up and then we'll be heading out on the safari tour. So we made a stop now for our lunch break. We actually stopped a few hours ago for a coffee too. Scenery has been so, so beautiful. So many mountains, big rocky mountains, and many vineyards too. Might be the most vineyards we've ever seen. Yeah, I think the guide was actually saying that there is a route. Maybe this route is like the, the biggest wine route in the world. So that's pretty cool. And we saw like hundreds of different wineries. I, I love wine too. It's very interesting. And this little place that we've stopped is called Barry Dale. We're gonna be eating in about 20 minutes so just walking around. This is a nice kind of bar restaurant here. Got the old gas station stuff. So they have some stores here too. Looks amazing. Yeah. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Probably some of the most impressive masks that I've ever seen. So it's pretty cool that it tells you the ethnic group that it comes from, Baga, and the country, Guinea. An interesting one. Yeah, amazing carvings so. though. Well, look at that one. Cameroon. Cameroon? Yeah. I like this one here, some kind of instrument. <laughs> like the song. <laughs> Go for this one. Yeah. Little plate, 60. <laughs> So we've arrived at the lodge now and we're gonna be doing something called the elephant walk where we go really close to some of the elephants here. I think there's three of them. We can't touch them but they can touch us. <laughs> that's what the guy said. Yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> there they are. Two big ones and a little one. All right. The elephants also have names. The one closest to us is the naughty one. Very naughty elephant but very intelligent. Very clever. His name is Jabari. Jabari means powerful, strong. Right. <laughs> He's going.
Yeah, so the ones that we saw in Sri Lanka, we only saw them from a vehicle. We weren't standing around with them like this, walking around. And I think this is the African elephant, so maybe it's bigger. I know it's a different type of elephant, so maybe that's why they're a lot bigger. So the guide said that each elephant drinks about 100 liters of water a day. They need a lot. From what the guide said, these have been here since they were like babies. Their parents were killed by poachers, unfortunately. And he did confirm that the Asian ones are a lot smaller. And apparently they're a lot easier for humans to be around. These ones are like wild killers. Dangerous, normally. So now we're gonna go on the game drive, which I think is for two hours driving around here. Hopefully we see some more animals that we didn't get to see in Namibia. Yeah, and this time I'm not gonna be driving, only enjoying and filming. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be cool. some drinks included. I went for the gin and dry lemon. <laughs> and I went for the Vinduk, the Namibian beer that, that I was drinking in Namibia. Well, look on this side too. It goes on and on. Yeah. I thought for being a, like a private reserve, it would be kind of small, but it's not, it's really big. You probably saw that we saw all those giraffes up close. So that was nice to see those guys again. There is a line around here, but I think you have to do like a specific tour to visit those. Yeah, I think some days you can see it, some other days you cannot see it. So, But I don't think we're lucky today. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're gonna see the lion. Maybe tomorrow, hopefully. I think tomorrow we go into another reserve though. Yeah, it's not gonna be this one, but I don't know what animals they have over there. So we're checking into our accommodation now at the same reserve. We have visitors. <laughs> yeah, I can show you the visitor around here. Some sort of antelope, like a deer over there. Oh, there's like a family of them. 
it's pretty cool that you get them right around where we're staying so this is all of our accommodation this the glamping it's not scared of me Carol no right here <laughs> and this is the room so looking real spacious nice big bed got a desk area there I guess this over here is like the tea and coffee some sort of snack Carol's admiring the views yeah the the little deer or I don't know how you call that Bambi <laughs> <laughs> yeah so the actual structure of the accommodation is a tent and even this here is like the same type of window that you find on a like a regular camping tent just but, a massive one yeah massive one and you have all the luxury things inside which is really cool yeah so there's three of those big windows all these that you see here so you can open the entire thing and then it is AC I don't think we'll need that it's pretty cool right now and the bathroom this way ah cool we got a bathtub might have to make use of that tonight got another one of those same kind of windows that you can open yeah really nice spacious bathroom not sure what's out outside ah shower outdoor shower so you can either use the outdoor shower or the bathtub This is the mini lake that we have the noisy ducks so apparently there are hippos in here I think there's more chance of seeing them later on so you can also stay at some of the glamping places right on the lake real nice views so we're just coming back to our place and this time we have another guest beautiful the horns I don't think that's a kudu with the spirally horns and oh, the other guy's there too he looked at my finger when I pointed <laughs> beautiful animal though that's the GoPro yeah I don't want to get too close <laughs> and we did see two hippos in there could just see the heads in the in the water chilling out so that was good seen so many animals already day one so it is the next morning we had a really good night's sleep and we just got up and we spotted the hippos once again but you can just see the top of the heads they're still not out of the water and now we're going to have breakfast and then we'll be going to do another game drive in another reserve So it is a breakfast buffet, got some pretty good options, Carol went for the omelette as always, little croissant, I also went for a croissant, a muffin, some cheeses, and I did have more meat, bacon and sausage. Some of these little birds stole one of my bacon when I went to get my coffee, no, cheeky little birds. I can't imagine they like lifting the entire uh, bacon but somehow they did it <laughs> and it's pretty cool that you get to eat on the hippo lake the hippos are all the way on the other side though they're not over here and this is where we had dinner last night too it was a pretty good price wasn't it mm -hmm. yeah i think we ate for 25 dollars like with wine and uh, two meals so good price for a four-star hotel So the place that we've come to is called Botlierskop 
I think that's how you pronounce it, not entirely sure. And we're off to an amazing start because right from the entrance, we can already see some rhinos. I think there's about three of them. Might be four, can't tell, some of them are sat down. Once again, a really nice lodge. I think you can stay here too. I think there's places that you can sleep around here. Time to put the sniper to use again. Yeah, I think those are the white rhinos. White rhinos? Yeah. So we're allowed to get a tea or coffee at this one. I think the game drive is only in about 30 minutes. So we've got some time here. And the driver also said there are lions in this one. Yeah, so hopefully we'll be able to see it. It's our last chance. <laughs> See what it is? No, but I think it's a lion. I don't see it. I don't see it either. Oh, is that it? No, I can see it. Oh wow, now I see it. Is that the cheetah? Yes, I think so. <laughs> so beautiful. It's like a big cat. It really is a big cat. It's even clearer than the lion. Yeah. Wow. Look at her fur. Yeah, it looks like the nowhere to be found. So we've gotten out of the vehicle now and we spotted some giraffes once again. There's two of them over, th over there. There's like a little stream in the middle and we're not in the same section as the lions, by the way. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to get out then. This has been the best game drive so far. <laughs> oh, inside here we've seen like everything. Yeah, almost. Almost everything. I think the only one of the the big five that we won't see is the leopard but I didn't even know we'd see cheetahs in here so that was a nice surprise oh we missed the elephants they were somewhere but we couldn't see them once again <laughs> yeah so you can see the elephants in this park too not so bad for us because we saw them yesterday up close so doesn't really matter
So we're back from the tour now. It was an absolutely incredible two days. We actually wish we would have done the three day tour now. If we could go back in time, we would have done the three day one instead. But still super happy that we got to see so many different animals. Definitely was a lot more than we were expecting. And we found out later that it's not actually guaranteed that you're gonna see the lion. So we were super lucky. And we were even more lucky that the lion was so close because it was literally right next to our car. I think there's only a two there and the park is absolutely massive so I think you're lucky even if you see the the lions like far in the distance but for us it was just right next to us lay there so yeah that was incredible and you don't have to do the glamping like we did they also have cheaper alternatives so there were other people that were with us in the group and they stayed in a more affordable accommodation so they do have different options available and once again if you want to do the tour don't forget that we have the promo code jumping places where you can get five percent off and the nice thing about the company hotspots to see is that some of the money goes to a non-profit organization that helps local communities around South Africa. If you like this video just drop a like as usual to support us, subscribe to see more videos like this, follow us on Instagram and Facebook and we'll see you in the next one.